You're watching Market Guru on Bloomberg TV India. We've been in conversation with Vikas Kemani, CEO of Wholesale Capital Markets at Ilwise Financial Services. Vikas, sir, we were talking about the market outlook and the strategy. Let's talk about a couple of sectors. And one that I, you know, I've, I've been talking about this for some time, and I track it pretty closely, has been the industrial bit as well. Last six to eight months, we've seen a decent amount of outperformance coming in for all these counters. Is the story still intact? Because the last few days or so, they've just done a little jittery after a couple of the earnings that came out. But in terms of the entire sector, in terms of the outlook, when we talk about the industrial space, how, how are you looking at it? So as I said that, I think, you know, industrial space is a very much, you know, links to GDP growth. And uh, I think whatever we have seen kind of, you know, whatever stock performance we have seen has been from a significant undervaluation to a sort of fair yeah. valuation. Now, I think that, you know, for returns to deliver, I think the, the earnings needs to happen. Earnings need to catch up. And I think that's the reason you saw a little bit of disappointment in the recent quarterly earnings. So I think somewhere expectation got built ahead of the okay. uh, sort of time. But I do believe that as the you know economic growth picks up, as the IIP number picks up, as the investment cycle pick up, yeah. it has to sort of you know do well. There's no doubt in my mind. If if I mean either you believe in uh, change of the uh, economic growth or you you know so if economic growth you believe in, you have to play it through industrials. Mm. And if you I mean you can go and look at any cycle in the past also. Whenever IIP number starts picking up, whenever GDP growth accelerates. Industrial is the one segment which does very, very well. I mean, you know, we recently did a study and, you know, from 2003 to, again, we looked at the same cycle. And even if, you know, the top line growth is higher and bottom line does not catch up, still must stocks end up doing well. Well, we do believe that this time you will see both top line and bottom line both growing very well. And there is no reason why it will not. But so I think industrial is the one sector uh, very much aligned to uh, economy and it will do definitely well. Then we talk about the other sector that's uh, <clears throat> aligned to the economy, but has got a mystery, mixed reaction from the market. But I know you've been bullish on it, uh, banking because uh, with the same logic, it, it, is it just obvious that you can't have this kind of growth, this kind of revival in the economy without the banking banks participating? Absolutely. Again, you know, similar because if you are growing economy, economy is growing at anywhere between six to seven percent. Banking credit growth will happen anywhere between 18 to 20 percent. So banking has this typical classic cycle. I always say that you know you had a situation where there was extreme amount of you know high NPA and a significant undervaluation of the stocks because the markets were worried. Now what you have walked so far is that so from acceleration to NPA, you have gone to a stage where there is a deceleration of NPA cycle. Now there will come a point where you know you will start seeing stabilizing of asset quality, and post that there will be uh, credit growth. And also that will get coincided with somewhat interest rates coming down. So these two big, you know, drivers of uh, return or growth for banking sector is yet to come. So far, whatever we have seen is, you know, from deceleration to asset quality, uh, acceleration in the deterioration of the asset quality to sort of stabilizing to, you know, uh, deceleration. Mm -hmm. But the moment it starts improving, growth coming, uh, start coming and uh, you know the interest rates coming down these according to me these are big three drivers still yet to come in and that they will pan out in the next three to four years i again will take you back to 2000 you know uh, two three cycle and start from there state bank of india used to trade at 200 rupees and you saw what kind of return came in the next five seven years so i see no reason why it can't happen again because still the kind of banks we are talking about our market capitalization of the banks we are talking about is very tiny as compared to any economy in the uh, you know, uh, world of our size, you know, so I think the, the stocks here and all category, you know, it's not only small, large, all categories will do very well in that. So we started off talking by what the outlook for the market is, because I'm, go I'm going to drill down a little bit more on this one. The point is 26,000 is what the Sensex is trading at. It, it's difficult for any retail investors to actually go ahead and after seeing what's happened to this market in the last 10 or months to go ahead and buy even more. How would you convince somebody saying, well, there is still more upside, there are still a couple of factors, and which are some of those factors that one probably needs to watch out for that can take the markets even higher from here? See, I mean, one simple, stock market returns are delivered by, or equity returns are delivered by two factors. Okay. One is the corporate earnings growth. True. Second is the re-rating. These are the only two drivers of the, you know. So you, if you do a little bit on the corporate earnings growth and look at the history, any time you pick up in the history and find a multiplier to the, you know, GDP growth to the earnings, corporate earnings growth. Typically, you know, you will find if earnings grow at, uh, GDP grows at anywhere between 6 to 7 percent, corporate earnings will grow anywhere between 18 to 20 percent. That's True. a standard, uh, you know, uh, ballpark. And it can accelerate also if some of the reforms and, you know, other triggers we are talking about. Currently, even if you don't factor in that, your earnings growth can happen 18 to 20 percent. Okay. So let us say, corp take a base and if you just compound 20 percent over three years, it makes it 1.7 times. 
and you assume if you are talking about a global setup and uh, easy liquidity scenario and more people coming into little bit of re-rating of 14-15p if it is going to 16-17p you can easily get to 2x. So in 3 years driven by primarily driven by earnings growth of 20% and uh, let us a little bit of rating 20% re-rating from here of the price earning multiple can take you to uh, 2x return in 3 years from here. It is a simple plain mathematics. Now, if you go and you know sort of uh, peel and say that will they will you get 18, 20 percent earnings growth and all, you just need to look at the numbers of the history and you will get a lot of answers. So, in my mind, I have no doubt that corporate earnings will grow and this re-rating every market happens. I do not need to explain any investor, I mean every market it just happens. Sometimes I am talking about 20 percent re-rating, I think it will it will tend to overextend. If let us say, if if I have no doubt in my mind that if let us say government delivers what they are talking about, even half of what they are talk, talking about they deliver, I think there will be significant re-rating in the market because market world markets are watching about, uh, uh, investors are watching about fiscal consolidation, labor reform, GST reform, True. you know all those things they are watching out. If that happens, the conviction around India's story will get on, yeah. keep on getting built.